hey on to this you know i have an old hp compact desktop computer lying around it has an i5 third gen 8 gigs of ddi 3 ram and a 500 gig hard drive and integrated graphics so yeah i just thought it's officially compatible with windows xp it's one of the last processor generations to be compatible with windows xp so yeah today we're just going to be installing windows xp on an old computer in 2024 so yeah without further ado let's get started all right here we go we're on the screen so let's turn on the hp and spam that f10 key my vga switch is set on the correct yeah there we go set up so first things first we need to go in the boot order disable uefi and then before we hit save before we hit yes i'm going to open up the disk drive put in my beautiful windows xp dvdr media that i just burned like a week ago so i'm just gonna stick it in and close the drive okay i think that's good yes save changes now spam the f9 key all right there we what i thought i disabled that hold on a second f10 f10 just chucked a usb stick i don't even know what's on that usb stick are you of my sources disabled Okay, and I need to press F10 to um, accept. Okay, I just forgot to do that. It's been a while since I've entered this, that BIOS setup utility. It's been a while since I used this computer. Last time I used this computer was like two days ago, just for messing around and getting some files off my server. Because this was an old server of mine. Okay, Windows setup. We are already off to a good start. You can hear the DVD drive. Let's also readjust the camera while I'm at it. Okay, I finished readjusting the camera. Setup is loading. A serial port enumerator. Okay, so yeah, this takes a while to just load. So in the meantime, I'll get drivers on this USB stick just for when I install this. So I will be right back when this is loaded. Okay, welcome to setup. This portion of the setup program prepares Microsoft Windows XP to run on your computer. Uh, yes, I want to set up now. Uh, F8. Partition one, unknown. Okay then, I'm going to Okay, yeah, this is a little bit pixelated, but I'm just going to delete that. So now we have a ton of un unpartitioned space. I'm going to do a quick format with NTFS. Alright, setup is formatting. And we are around... We have around two minutes left on my file transfer from, a, from an external SSD to a USB stick to have drivers and stuff, but I am also going to use stuff like SDI, Snappy Driver Installer, and um, what's it called again? LegacyUpdate.net to install some drivers. Anyway, setup is formatting. I will be back with the next stage of setup when it asks me to, um, I'm just going to go start a time lapse until it asks me, um, you know, what my country is and what my product key is and what my name is and whatnot. So yeah, I will be back. my USB peripherals do not work. That's great. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, yes, the mouse works. So let's change the language to... I'm just gonna go get them. I'm gonna just go get something to put the mouse on as I am recording on a carpet. So, I don't have anything else with me right now, but I have a wee balance board from, I do not remember why I got this wee balance board, but I have a wee balance board, so I am using it as a mouse pad. English, UK, the caps lock light still doesn't work. Alright, so caps lock does work, however the light doesn't turn on. Oh my gosh. There we go. Uh, let's just call this HP Compact 6300 SFF. I always name my computer as the model of the computer. Type an administrator password. I am not going to. Next. Um. Alright, that's legal. So, I'm going to change it to Greenwich Mean Time because, yeah, next. Alright, there we go. Installing network. It is not going to find a network card in this computer because, one, there is no Wi-Fi and two, the Ethernet card does not have a driver. That's why I'm installing drivers onto a USB stick so that I can install them offline. And then I'm going to use Leg legacyupdate.net and snappy driver installer to install the rest of the drivers. Alright, so I'm editing right now and I have something to say. Legacyupdate.net did not have any drivers that were compatible with this computer. And snappy driver installer right here is not downloading anything even though it already downloaded 248 megabytes out of 2.44 gigabytes. So yeah, it just does this sometimes because I think it's downloading via like a torrent or a peer-to-peer -peer network. So um, yeah, it just stopped for some reason. I think I might be able to pause it and restart it just to get the download going. But I think I'm just going to leave it until it starts downloading or if it starts downloading again. Anyway, back to the video. So anyway... I'm just going to let this install setup will complete in approximately 31 minutes. So yeah, I will be back. Okay, to improve the appearance of visual elements, Windows will automatically adjust your screen resolution. Okay. Um, Windows adjusted the screen resolution. If you can read this text, click OK. That actually looks pretty good. OK. Move that back a bit. Oh, here we go. It doesn't have the music, so I'm just going to add it in post. Thank you for purchasing Microsoft Windows XP. Let's spend a few minutes setting up your computer. Next. Um, sure. Um, what is my name? My name is Whale Tack. Okay. Next. Thank you. You're ready to go. Welcome. Now I'm gonna need that USB stick from like, what, like half an hour ago? I think it's done copying. Alright, here we go. We're on the desktop of Windows XP. So I got the USB stick. I'm gonna stick it into a USB port. My computer. And we don't need the DVD anymore, so. Oh, it's recognizing it as a DVD RAM drive. We don't need this disc anymore. So, um, it's not detecting. It's 
is not finding anything. Oh, it's not finding my USB stick. I'm going to try a different USB port on the back. Oh, I plugged it into a USB port on the back and that did nothing. Alright, it says removable disc E. Alright, it found it. So first things first, let's get network drivers. This is just Intel Ethernet. Added support for the HP Compact 6300 Pro and yada yada yada. I do not care. Next, next. So this is just the self-extracting archive, I believe. All right, Intel network connections. Okay, oh, the caps up light turns on now. Nice. So, um, install drivers and software. Next, I accept. Next, next, install. And we are connected to Ethernet. Installing network drivers for that. All right, let's see, in properties, what do we have here? We have it all the way up to 1920 by 1080. Oh my gosh, yes. However, I'm just gonna put it on 1024 by 768. Just so that it looks nicer on, actually no, I'm gonna put it back on 800 by 600. Just to make it so that it looks a lot nicer on camera. Actually, no. Let's see. Um, 1920 by 1080. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, this is 1080p Windows XP. Or Windows XP running in 1080p on real hardware. So, we can go games, pinball. We have no graphics drivers though, so yeah, that's not gonna work. Or let me check. MGMT.msc. We do not even have audio. I um video controller VGA compatible. Yeah, quit out of that. Universal serial bus controllers. Okay, so basically. Sound, video, and game controllers. Alright, well, there's nothing there. But now we need audio. Actually, I'm just going to open up IE. And go to... Alright, yep, this is working. And if we click on this, this page cannot be displayed. So, yeah, we are on the internet. Uh, I explore... I explore. Oh yeah, I Internet Explorer. So now let's try legacyupdate.net. Alright, um set up legacy update. Alright, um install legacy update. You might need to follow the work around here. So I'm just gonna install legacy update. Run Enable Windows Embedded 2009 Updates. Install. Show details. Compatible with Windows 2000, XP Vista 7, 8, 8.1, 10, and 11. While well, we are currently running XP. So, um, tools, check update server. This computer is designed to check for updates from Microsoft. Oh. Hey, legacy update, it's right there. Checking for the latest updates on this computer. Alright, so while we're waiting for that, we're just gonna go into audio and run the setup. This is from an ASUS computer or ASUS, ASUS, same thing. So yeah, this is from an ASUS computer. However, it's not um however it's 
However, it does work, and you can see we do not have graphics drivers. Um, has not passed logo Windows logo testing to verify its compatibility with XP. Continue. No, I'll restart my computer later. I just heard a beep coming from the um. <gasps> Alright, we got sound. I'm actually gonna just hook up the speaker. Oh, let's see. Alright, there we go. We got we got sound. Alright, let's just see. While Legacy Update is doing its thing over there, let's see all the nice backgrounds we got. We got stretch. Got this. We got autumn azul i'm actually just going to set this to 800 by 600 yes keep so minimize this so we got that we got bliss we got that we got coffee bean we got crystal feather texture follow friend gone fishing Greenstone, home, moonflower, peace, power, that, um, purple flower, radiance, red moon, desert, that, that. I think I'm actually just going to set this to, let's just look through all of them. I'm going to set it to the ripple background. Alright, Windows update. I'm actually just going to set this to a better resolution here because it's 800 by 600. While it does look good on the monitor, it does look horrible. On video, it does look horrible. Yeah, that's stretching it. Let's see if I can go into that. That also looks bad. 1024 by 768. Sure. Alright, we're keeping it on 1024 by 768 for now. Download and install now. Downloading Windows Genuine Advantage Validation Tool. Nice. Trying to do a new game. H I D D E N. Oh, I already did that. Well, I got I, I got a billion points, so there's that. Let's try and try. Let's try this again. H I D D E N space T E S T. H I D D E N test. Did I do this correct? Yes, I did. enjoyed that this is actually it for the video so i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like if you have something to say leave a comment and if you want to see more then subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next upload bye all right everybody good news so i have a little calculator open but we're not actually going to be doing any calculations i have a calculator open because yep we have proper graphics 
and it's actually pretty good graphics too. It's the proper driver for this. If I open up device management, there we go. And go into my display adapters, you can see Intel HD graphics. And if I double click on it, device type display adapters, manufacturer Intel Corporation, this device is working properly. And yeah, resources. I do not have any idea what this means, but if anyone watching does, let me know in the comments. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye!